NetBeans is a Java Integrated Development Environment, or IDE. The goal of an IDE is to provide in one software all the tools necessary to the design and implementation of an application. The first thing we can see in the interface is the Project Management tab, where we can view and edit existing projects as well as create new ones. In the service tab, we can manage and configure, among other things, database connections and web servers. The Files tab offers a, a raw view of how the files and folders are organized within each project. Let's try to quickly create a new project. We see that there are lots of options to choose from. All of those are presets in the IDE to help us start our project by automatically creating the basic structure of the files. The simplest project we can create is the Java application. When creating a project, we need to give it a name. We can also ask NetBeans to generate a main class for us. We will see along the way that there are many parts of the code that the IDE can generate for us, which makes our job a lot easier. A very important part of any IDE is the editor. The editor is where we write the code. It will have tools to highlight the syntax, to make typing faster with autocompletion, and to help us debug any error. The main method will always be the first ex executed in a Java application. If there is no main class with its signature, the program will not execute. As we start writing the code, we can see that NetBeans gives us information about all the possible methods we can access through an object and their signature, which gives us all the information we need to use them, what parameters they need, and what is their output. Once our code is ready, we can run the project and view the results in the console. Let's see how NetBeans can help us quickly create a full class. Let's say we want to create a person class similar to the person table from our database. First, we create the new class. We then define the attributes, which will be the equivalent of the columns of our database. As a general design rule, attributes as are set to private. When we start typing the name of a class that is part of a library that hasn't been imported yet, NetBeans will show an error and propose the most likely solution. Once again, this makes the whole process a lot easier as we generally don't have to type most of the code ourselves. Once we have defined the attributes, we can automatically generate the constructor, the getters and the setters, creating all the basic elements of the class. We can also generate a toString method, which will define how an object from this class should be cast into a string, for instance, if we want to print it to the console. Let's check from the main class that everything works as intended. First, we create a list of persons using the ArrayList class. Then we add new persons to the list. To create a new person, we need two strings for the first and last name and a date for the birth date. Dates are always complicated to manage in Java. A simple way to create date objects is to use the simple date format class. First, we define the format we want to use. Then, we use the parse function to generate the date objects from the strings. We 
create two persons. Many operations in Java may generate exceptions, which always need to be managed. You can see them as errors here in the IDE, and once again, the IDE provides a likely solution. You can now create an, a loop to uh, go through the array list and print all the persons. We see that we have an error here. The person's array list is not declared in the right scope. Once we correct that, we can now display the persons in the terminal. In the project tab, we can see the libraries which are included in the project. In more complex projects, managing the libraries or the dependencies of a project can be difficult. Fortunately, there are also tools to help us with that aspect of project management. One such tool is called Maven, but that will be for next time.